warning. The audio in this video kind of sucks because I was trying out a microphone that I completely forgot I had, so yeah. Whew. Hi. So when I was younger, I, I had a lot of problems. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I never really talked to anybody about my problems or sought out for help because I never wanted to be a bother to people any more than I already was. Because I wasn't always the best child. I was, I was kind of a nuisance <laughs> to a lot of people. Considering I didn't seek out help or someone to talk to, I looked towards YouTube. And not for help or someone to talk to, but just something that can, I guess, get me by and something that can make me feel better in that moment and just bring me somewhat joy in times where I felt none at all. And that was the sole purpose of why I really, really wanted to become a YouTuber. I wanted to be that thing that someone can come to that'll brighten their day one day. Because sometimes, honestly, all you really need is a good laugh. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, there have been times where a lot of us have been in really, really sh moods and you see something funny and it just kind of brightens your day just a little bit and I wanted to be that thing. I wanted to be someone that can make you laugh and can give you advice and help people in the best way that I can but after I started YouTube I realized that there was something else that I needed to do in a way and I couldn't exactly figure it out at first and it took me a really long time to come to this conclusion. In college, I met a lot of people that really inspired me, that do such creative things, and it really opened my eyes as to what that thing was that I was missing. And it was something that I can call my own that can really inspire people, because that's what I want to do. I want to inspire people and lift people and make people happy. But to do this, I needed to do a lot of research, which took me a few months, but it wasn't that hard because I actually met a lot of people that do this similar thing. <laughs> and I felt like from meeting so many people that did the similar thing and some people that I know that started these similar things, I was just genuinely inspired every day seeing these people so motivated to do these things and I knew what I wanted to do at that point. Now, I've never been someone that was really able to express myself through fashion for a very long time because I've always been that child that I'm, let's just rip the band-aid. My mom dressed me for many, many years. And even when I got older and I wanted to try and express myself, it was kind of a, you know, you look stupid, you should wear this, and then I had to wear this, you know? And when I got to college, I finally got to experiment, but it was so confusing because I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to look like. I didn't really have much of an identity yet. My sophomore year in college, I found that identity and here we are and that's when a lot of things changed. A lot of things changed for the good and a lot of things changed. <laughs> but at this point I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I just needed to figure out how I could execute it in some possible way without putting in that much effort because I'm lazy. And then I realized that you have to put in effort and not be lazy. And I feel like for a long time I had a mental block and I was kind of blocking myself from actually achieving things and expressing myself because I was so unconfident and unsure of what I'm really supposed to be doing or if I'm doing the right thing or if anyone's gonna like it and what if people don't like me and what if this person doesn't like it and what if I say the wrong thing and I had to take a break. It took me a really long time but I finally realized that it didn't matter that people didn't like me or people didn't like what I said or they don't like what I'm doing or they don't like what products I produce or the videos that I make. It didn't matter. <laughs> I was psyching myself out and I was becoming my worst enemy. I got to a point where I just kind of flipped a switch in my mind and decided to put myself first for once. And when I did that, I opened up so much in my mind and in my life. And that's where this came from. <laughs> so you're probably wondering at this point, what the is this for? What is this big announcement that you're trying to get out and that you're not telling us and that you've been hinting this whole time? What is it? 
we all want to know now because we're confused. Remember earlier when I said I was kind of a nuisance most of the time to a lot of people? When I came to this realization just a couple months ago that it was all in my head, I realized that was one of those things that was kind of all in my head as well. When people put negative energy out into the universe, especially when people put negative energy into the universe about you, it's up to you to decide mentally whether that is true or not. And you have the power, you just have to flip the switch. Then I remembered how many times people called me a nuisance and annoying and all these other things that I'm not even gonna sit here and name because there's so many of them. I realized that it's not a bad thing. Just because I'm inconvenient to some people doesn't mean that I'm inconvenient to everyone. I was an asset to a lot of people and I helped a lot of people and I realized a nuisance. Nuisance. Huh. I'm happy to be a nuisance. And you know what? We should all be happy to be a nuisance. So I made nuisance. This is the announcement that you've all been waiting for, that I've been extremely excited for. I've been psyching myself out, honestly, for weeks to finally make this video and announce what this is. I've been so excited and I'm literally kind of shaking right now because this really means a lot to me to finally be able to share this with people and whew, to let people in on the secret. <laughs> so what is a nuisance? A nuisance is us. We are all nuisance. Or as I like to say it, nuisance. Nuisance is a clothing brand I've been really, really excited to start for the longest time, ever since I had the original idea and I finally found a way to make it happen and I'm literally so, so happy that I can do this and share this with people because it really means a lot to me and it's a message that I want to really get out there. That it's okay to be inconvenient sometimes because you're not inconvenient to everyone. You're not annoying to everyone. You're not ugly to everyone. You're not unintelligent to everyone. It's up to us to make that mental decision to flip the switch and turn this negative energy that we're receiving in the world, in this society, to a positive thing. I wouldn't nuisance to be something that people can wear and be confident in and understand the fact that, yes, we're all imperfect, but just because we're imperfect doesn't mean we have to hate ourselves in a way for being like that. All of our imperfections are amazing. I was always the outcast and I was always weird and I was always not really cute <laughs> to say the least. And I was always annoying and childish and I realized that it doesn't matter. I love myself. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself that I can actually sit here and say that I love myself. <laughs> I want people to realize that no matter how imperfect people say you are, you're still amazing and beautiful inside and out, no matter what. And that's what this is. And I want us to be able to find new zens in our imperfections. Fucking meditate, dude. But now, finally, nuisance is available to the public. And from now to probably sometime in September, these Nuisance short sleeve t-shirts will be available in the colors white, silver, heather, prism, ice blue, yellow, gold, and pink. Right now I'm wearing the yellow one. This is one of my favorites along with the white one because it just, uh, there's nothing like a white shirt and they're available from size as small to double xl it does say men's on the website but i promise you it is unisex it's just it just says men's i don't know why honestly but it is unisex i promise and all the t-shirts no matter what size and color they are all 20 dollars and i have another surprise for you since my birthday is coming up and since i just love being a nice person. I will be giving you guys a 30% off coupon code for my birthday weekend, which is from July 5th to July 7th. So for those three days only, you can use coupon code I am to get 
30% off your entire order, including shipping, including shipping. So I will leave the link down below to the website where Nuisance will be available and you can just search it up on Etsy and just type in Nuisance and it'll be the first and only thing you see because I am a one and only. Yes. You heard it here first, ladies and gents. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys, you know, I don't know, buy a shirt. Wait, before you click off, disclaimer, this is not the final design. I want this brand to evolve with everyone. I want people to actually be able to contribute to the brand and make it their own. Right now, it is just this front design and the back is blank, but Boy, do you not know what I have up my sleeve. You can't see it because these sleeves are short and it's in another sleeve. Instagram it's right here on the screen and I will have it linked down below in the description and tag me and nuisance on the pictures and use hashtag nuisance under any pictures you post with the shirts I think I'm been talking now and I love you guys so much and I hope you love nuisance just as much as I do so yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe and share it with everyone you know <laughs> And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>